Back at Skanko, Amy's apprentice workmate Matt is preparing for a site visit on his own. Both Matt and Amy have regular maintenance work to carry out for Skanko clients. Must be great not to be stuck in the same office all the time. I caught up with Matt outside of work, again. I want to see if they all spend their lives surrounded by computers. So what is it that you exactly do? Uh, I'm a computer engineer at Skanko. It uh, involves servers and printers, servers, computers, monitors, things like that. Um, basically waiting for a call to come in. When they break, we have to go out and fix it. Right, and how did you get into that? Um, Skanko offer an apprenticeship scheme. I've um, seen the advert in the paper. When I left school, I applied for the job and got it. Uh, they put you through college one day a week. Oh, so anyone can do it? Really? Yeah, they can. So what's it like? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's really good fun because um, you come in in the morning, um, you don't know what's going to be broken, you don't know what you're going to be doing. So it's always changing, always different. They offer, they take on two apprentices every year. So. And is that girls and boys? Yeah, you see more and more girls coming into it. So obviously you have a life outside of computers. Yeah. So you break the mould with the stereotypical computer geek. Yeah, well that's it. I mean, you work with computers all day. When you get home, the last thing you want to do is start messing around with computers again. There must be one boring person amongst this lot. Hmm. What about this guy? Maybe his green hair hides a quiet, shy, retiring computer whiz. Um. <laughs> I could see this was going to be a problem. Apparently, he designs websites. I thought I'd talk to the project manager instead. Yep, um, my name's Gemma and I'm a project manager at PDMS. So I look after projects and requests that come in from our clients, uh, mostly Isle of Man government. And then I allocate the tasks around the team, depending on what's required. So we have people who work on design of websites, like Jim and Alan here. Um, and then we also have people who work on the actual development of the websites. And so what does your job entail? Well basically we, we design uh, websites and, and business systems in terms of the visual interface of so what people actually see when they go to the site. And myself and Alan um, we basically do that um, in liaison with, with Gemma. Um, I concentrate mostly on the, the creative design side of the websites. Nice pictures for us. Yeah, <laughs> make nice pretty pictures. pictures. <laughs> yeah, um, once I've done the, the design side of it, we start building the sites. So I work on that side of it as well. I bet that's great when you see it all at the end and you see the happy customer. And yeah, yeah. All that hard work. <laughs> when it's, yeah, when it's over and it's, uh, <laughs> when, it's <they're>, over. <laughs> when it's over <laughs> and they're happy with it. Seems like a good job. Yeah. Green hair though. Bet he just sits at home in the evening playing online games with his sad internet friends. Okay, maybe I was a bit off the mark. I can't believe how many different IT jobs there are out there. There's got to be one that looks boring. What about this guy? Stu. He was the first IT apprentice at his company. I bet he spends every waking moment with his computer. Pants. Well, maybe he finds his job boring. Um, quite a bit on today, yeah. I've got to do a daily production report, which is basically extracting all our information from my MRP system. And um, that stores everything from um, ordering bars to when the components go out and to send the invoice to the customer. Basically, I just write down the tape number, number 11, on today's date, which is the 18th, is it? It was one of my responsibilities um, to install the wireless network. Up the top of the two white boxes, they're patch antennas. Um, we say changing the faulty power supply. Um, I need to install a wireless, Cisco wireless card. This is our main shop floor. Um, all the PCs on the shop floor are actually wireless. Also, I've got one of our my customers dropped one of these Cisco phones here, and it's cracked, it cracked the display. I'm waiting for a part for that. That should be here today as well. So I need to take that out, ready for the replacement. First thing we're going to do is install the new card, and then we'll put the um, software on after that. Um, we can't put this on just yet because it has to be fed through the inside of the PC. 
got a communication problem actually with uh, the furnace. That's uh, quite a major issue because um, our customer Rolls Royce has high demands. Okay, this is the um, aerospace um, cell. Again, it's for uh, Rolls Royce engines. And we have a furnace that uh, tests these taper bolts, dynamic taper bolts, and basically, because it gets so hot, this will hold uh, plane engines in place. So commercial and also fighter, fighter jets for the military. All right, I give up. His job is exciting and no two days are ever the same. He works for a world leading multinational company that makes parts that keep our aeroplanes in the air. He's getting internationally recognized qualifications through his work and he loves his job. And he plays football. And now I'm off to meet my final contact and it takes me back in full circle to the middle of nowhere yet again. So I'm in the middle of nowhere, it would seem, in a place called Aracy, and I'm off to meet a guy called Sam from Domicilium to find out what he does. But what was Sam doing out here? Not very high tech. It didn't take me long to find out. So Sam, you work at Domicilium, and what do you do there? I'm a training networks engineer. All oh, right, and what does that entail? Majority of my time at the moment is spent on help desk, and people ring up with an email issue or um, an ADSL issue, sort of broadband not working. They'll ring me up um, and I'll deal with that. And what exactly is Domicilium? Um, it's a network solutions provider and a data centre. We, we provide hosting space for a lot of companies. We've got a lot of um, sort of online gaming companies. What's it like to work there? I've, I've worked quite a few jobs. I've, I've never worked anywhere quite like Domicilium. You, you, you'll get given a job to do. You don't get supervised. You just get on with it. Everyone is so, so professional. As long as the job's done at the end of the day, Everyone's happy. So you have to be prepared to work? Oh yeah, you, you, you have to be prepared to work. At the moment I'm doing a Cisco CCNA, which is the main networking qualification throughout the whole world. Um, it's for it's Cisco Certified Network Associate. I've also done a CompTIA A+, and I'm still doing a CompTIA Network Plus as well. So in English, please, <laughs> what what are they? What do um, they involve they're, they're and what do, they, sort of what do you get at the end of them? Industry standard qualifications. One thing in common about these jobs is there is nothing common about them. All right, there are computers, but I've met a motocross racer who helps design buildings, a farmer's daughter who swapped milking cows to replacing hard drives, and then I went shooting with her fellow apprentice. I met football playing Stu, who seems to keep a whole company's IT system running all on his own. More or less every type of company, supermarkets, banks, telecoms, manufacturing, even my flower shop down the road relies on it. I guess if you want an ICT career, you'll be stuck for choice. I suppose it all seems so different to me now, and the things that I've learnt have really surprised me. I mean, for a start, it's not all boring work done by geeks. There seems to be so many opportunities, and with the technology changing around us, you don't get a chance to stand still. Skills that you learn in one environment can often be taken with you when you change jobs. And we can start learning these skills straight away, in school, in college, and then at work as well. And it's not just for the boys. ICT. Would I want a career in it? Definitely yes. If I wasn't going to be snapped up by some big shot Hollywood producer, or groomed by the BBC. Then poached by Sky TV, of course, to become the latest up and coming presenter or a daring undercover reporter trapped behind enemy lines. If you are interested in a career in the ICT sector, or if you just want to find out more information, you can contact the Department of Trade and Industry, Career Service, the Isle of Man College, or contact one of the sponsoring companies. Yeah, I've just uploaded the video. So I hope you like it and I hope I helped you make the right decision. As for me and computers, well everybody knows that I know nothing about them. By the way, I've uploaded the file as a WMV, QuickTime, MOV, and transcoded a flash file. I've kept the bitrate down to under 1.5 kilobits per second, so let me know what you think. I'm going to have to log out in a minute, as I have to fit the new 256 gig solid state drive to my laptop. And if that wasn't enough, my dad wants us to upgrade our LAN. I told him we'd talk about the pros and cons of a gigabit network over tea. 
I don't think he's gonna get it. He's useless and still thinks that Cat 5 needs a source of milk every night.